Hey guys, so today we thought we'd get on here and talk about five underrated experiences um, at Disney World. We have one for every park and then one for Disney Springs. Jump right in. <laughs> Jump right in. So the first one that we think is underrated, it's kind of a new experience, it's at Disney Springs and it is the international tray at the Coke store. Um, we have a whole video on it if you want to watch it, we'll throw it up in a card. But uh, it is this thing where like you get a tray of 16 sodas, one for um, like a bunch of places around the world. But it was really fun and it's fairly new because Coke kind of just opened not that long ago. And um, it's on the top floor of the Coke store so you have to go all the way up to like the bar. And it's really loud up there. But it's, it's outside. It's outside. <laughs> but they have like a tray of sodas and then they have one that's like floats, like ice cream floats. And then they have one that's a mix. And we had a lot of fun doing we it. Had we had a lot kinda, of fun. Yeah, we just kind of stumbled upon it and decided to do it and no regrets because it was a lot of fun and we highly recommend it to anyone that is at Springs and going to the Coke store and you get a lot of sodas and it was like eight bucks. And we got right? a cast member yeah, discount so it was like five discount. something. Not bad at all. No, and the float one looks really interesting. I don't really know. That one was only one tray instead yeah. of two. And it was a little more expensive, I think. Yeah, and then, but like, the combo is more expensive, obviously. But I would like to do yeah. that next because time. it was a lot of fun. Next time we'll do that. So for Magic Kingdom, uh, Flag Retreat is really, 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 really cool. They <laughs> <laughs> they pick a new vet. Or do they have to be a vet? I think so. I can't remember if it's a vet or active. I don't know. They pick someone who's in some sort of military branch, of, military, branch yeah. of some kind and it's really cool and they get to hold the flag and walk it down Main Street. Yeah, flag they... retreats when they take down the flag. If you're down yeah. the flag. <laughs> they take down the flag and they have this whole like drill down Yeah, thing. and the, they sing uh, the national anthem and other patriotic songs. I don't and they sing the national anthem. You say the Pledge of Allegiance. And Was it just the pledge? Grand Old Flag. Not Grand Old Flag. You sing... I don't know. I don't remember what it is, but it's on YouTube if you want to try to find it. I really don't remember what the song was. I can't even We just it. did it. <laughs> but it's really cool. The it's first really time cool. I saw it, I cried. And I saw it on a yeah, YouTube video. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> One time I witnessed people just like, they were in ECVs and like, they heard it and they both got up and respected it and it was yeah. really, really cool to see. There's a lot of respect and it's all around the flag and a bunch of people come together and it's really, it's really cool. Highly recommend, highly recommend. <laughs> the next underrated experience we think is the Perry the Player Plus World Showcase Adventure. Um, we did this on our program, there's a video, I'll put it in a card if you want to watch it. But um, we did the China mission and basically you get like a smartphone and you go through different It's really steps. old smartphone. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's updated and you do it on your own phone maybe now. Oh. I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's been, been too long. long. It's been too long since we've done it. But it's a lot of fun and you get to go through um, different pavilions. There's one in Germany, England, and China. I think those are the only ones. And um, it replaced the Kim Possible thing if you ever did that. Go around the whole pavilion and you have to like look for different clues and there's like animations and stuff and it's really cool and I feel like people don't do it because they think it'll take a lot of time but it was like 20 minutes and then we did it while our friends were eating. <laughs> we yeah, I don't know if I'd recommend doing it with a lot of people. No. Like it, it was just the two of us. And we and had a lot of fun. Yeah, but with too many people I think you could get bored, bored and not and not involved and that's why you would be bored. An idea though, if you have a big group, each of you go to a different one and see, see who, who do it them. fast. Yeah. Because I think that'd be fun. Um, also a quick little side note for this spot in my heart, some of all thrills inside <laughs> Innoventions. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so much fun. You can design your own roller coaster and get to do it, but it's closing in September and I'm so upset because I didn't get to do it while we were there last or the time before. It's been a really long time since I got to do it. I think December of last year was last year. We didn't time do it at spring break. Mm -mm. And I'm really sad <laughs> about it. But it was so fun. So if you're gonna be there between now and whenever it closes, I think it's like mid September, go do it please. It's so fun. You design your own roller coaster and you get to ride it and it's like a thrill ride. Like it's you go up to down and stuff. Yeah, and it's so virtual funny reality. When you like watch people do it and they look like they're barely moving, but when you're doing it you feel it's like you're so actually running. Fun and I'm so sad. <laughs> so yeah if you're there, go do it please. And if you go after it closes, do the Perry the Platypus thing. <laughs> <laughs> so for Animal Kingdom, the train to Rafiki's Animal Watch. Planet Watch. Planet Watch. <laughs> Rafiki's Planet. We love it so I much. I can't even remember what it's called. But we, like, I can't even tell you how many times I went to Animal Kingdom and didn't really know it was a thing. And then we did it once, and there's a whole other world over there. Yeah. And we met a lot of characters. We saw real life bunnies. Oh my I saw God. a baby alligator once. They have a lot of like live animals. Oh, they had a petting zoo. Yeah, there's a petting zoo. There's lots of goats. Um, I think Chip and Dale are back there. Mm -hmm. um, Rafiki's there sometimes. sometimes. 
Is she? I thought she was. I don't know. There's characters back there. We met Jiminy. We met Jiminy. Jiminy. <laughs> <laughs> day. Back there. And they have like live animals like that you can play with. And people who know stuff about animals. So if you have any like actual questions or actually interested or just like learning like that was cool too. And all the like conservation stuff is back there. Rafiki's always back there and we like meeting Rafiki mm -hmm. and his line's always super Very cool. Fun, very fun, meet and meet greet. And greet. But yeah, it's just a cool area to explore, and the train going out there is fun too. And it's a good place to like sit down and relax in the shade. In the shade. Mm -hmm. And also a little side note: if you don't want to take the train back there and go back there, also the trails I think are pretty underrated. The trails of animals. Um, I mean, it's just a lot of butterflies. Kind of like a zoo, but <laughs> it's still it's still fun. Lots of animals. If you like animals, I recommend both the train and the trail. Okay, so the last part, Hollywood Studios. It's hard to find something that's underrated because there's not there's not that much to, left right now. <laughs> right now, <laughs> so we kind of have like two things that we especially like there that we don't think a lot of people um, take that much advantage of. The first is when you go through One Man's Dream at the beginning, ask if you can do the honorary historian or honorary citizen. I don't know. They call it different things depending on who it is, I think. But you basically get a little piece of paper and you answer the questions as you go through One Man's Dream. We could answer them before we even went through One Man's Dream. They're pretty easy questions. You give it to the cast member at the end right before whatever video is playing right now. It's Peach Dragon trailer, which um, looks fire. Yeah, I but, didn't think um, it looked that good until I saw that specific preview. So. Disney, you're doing something right with your marketing. So you give it to the person right before the video and they give you a certificate, which is downstairs, so I don't have to show you. But you get a certificate. I'm assuming that your reward is different based on who's there. Like this guy like went above and beyond to make our historian ceremony great. But you also get to sign a guest book and that's really cool. You write your name and where you're from and stuff and then you're an honorary yeah. historian. I had no idea stuff. that was a thing until who was who was it was you. Yeah. And they were like, hey can we do this? I and saw I'm the like, papers what are you and my about? Yeah, they were all like I guess, and I was like, okay, don't actually <laughs> try it. I've never done it either, but I've heard about it. So yeah, that. And then the other thing, um, this is kind of, I don't know how underrated this is. It's a Frozen sing-along. You might turn your nose up to it if you're one of those people that's like, I hate Frozen. No, do the Frozen sing-along. It's fire, is it not? Do it for Eric. Yeah. It's if you go for, for any Eric. reason, go for Eric. He's one of the so storytellers. Funny. He's so funny. I feel like they throw in a lot of not like inappropriate jokes, but like you have to be older to think it's funny and it's, so it's funny. funny. It's a lot of improv. If you've seen the Aladdin show at California Adventure, it's similar to the genie from that. I mean, R.I.P. that show. <laughs> but it's similar. His humor and like the jokes are similar to that, and it's so funny because they like joke with um, Kristoff and Anna and stuff, and like you know, <laughs> in Arendelle they don't have these things that Eric and. I don't remember the girl's name, I'm sorry, but what they joke about, so then it's just like funny because they're just kind of there. But yeah, highly recommend checking out Eric. <laughs> it's very it's funny. So funny. It's very funny. The whole show's fun. Even if you don't like Frozen, it's fun. Like, if it's you really like to well sing done, and just like belt out then and be annoying like Like this. I don't love Frozen like a lot of people do, but like the music's good. Yeah. So that's fun. Highly recommend. Ten out of ten. So those are our five underrated things at Disney, um, one at each place on property, pretty much. Well, I mean, like, park-wise and Disney Springs. But yeah, um, those are what we suggest y'all to check out if you haven't before and what we think a lot of people overlook, maybe. Um, if you have any other ideas, let us know in the comments down below what you think is underrated and what you think people should check out that don't. We might do this again, too, if we think of more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so far, this is what we got. Also, if you like any of these experiences we talked about, let us know down below as well, because um, again, we love to hear from you and what you have to say on these subjects as well. I love hearing underrated things. Yeah, we are no in no way Disney experts, so yeah, <laughs> let us know like what ideas you have that are better. So yeah, thanks for watching, and beat is almost over, and I skipped another day, <laughs> and I'm really sorry, but you know we're like in school and working and stuff, and it's a little hard. But I'm pretty proud of how far we've come in this month. You know, it's and right. we have a few days left and then we're done but we thank you for watching and we will see you tomorrow <sighs> okay. nice